inches. Uh, just, uh, I'm sorry, one inch height, di height difference. Like three, three inches on the reach. This should be exciting. Back to the cage and Brian Wood. Bout number eight is brought to you by Hoy Excavating. Hoy Excavating has been building communities and providing construction services for over 20 years. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Zach Grove. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Justin Thacker. Oh, baby, let's go. Sporting touch of hands tonight's fight clock is presented by the right Excavating. hand lands immediately for Thacker. Grosh didn't seem to have much technique and just walking forward, uh, kind of walked into that right hand. Zach Grosh is in the black trunks. Backdoor escape, Justin Thacker in the black and green trunks. Fainting on the kick, pulling it back, Zach Grosh. Grosh on the level change, nicely defended, well done by Justin Thacker. Into top position, into the half guard of Zach Grosh. Finds himself here in top mount, leg lacing. It's no secret Grosh wants to grapple here as he explodes and almost meets his way over on top. Attack for the, the armbar. Sweep and take He's at the armbar. Thacker looking to finish. Difficult position to hit the armbar. Good, good, good for Grosh to step over to get out of that armbar. Standing guillotine, close guard guillotine. I don't think he has his hands connected. He just gets them as they fall to the ground. It's no secret Grosh wants to grapple here. On the feet, he does look a bit stiff. I, I think his specialty lies in his grappling. Looking Omoplata from the bottom, Justin Thacker. No, another good step over by Grosh. Grosh now looking rear naked choke, taking the back. That is in deep. That's under the neck. Referee Nick Bounds taking a really That's close tight. look. That's tight. One That's hook really in. Thacker's looking for the choking hand, but oh, Grosh doing such a good job hiding it. Beautiful. Big transition by Thacker. Beautiful Gorgeous defense. turn from Whoa. Thacker. Not, not giving up in that position. Kept turning his chin each way until he found enough space to end up on top. Now looking guillotine is Zach Grosh. Good, good step over by, by Justin Thacker there. Eliminating you, the threat of guillotine, moving to side position. Exactly, Sean. That's how you eliminate that, that threat of a guillotine is by stepping to the opposite side in side control. Now looking to take the back is Justin Thacker, and back and forth we go. 65 seconds remaining round one. I'm not sure if these boys remember they can strike from these positions, but it's been just a straight grappling match, and I don't mind it. Body triangle now hit by Justin Thacker. Body triangle holding them in tight. Thacker with the squeeze, the hand fighting. Looking for the back mount now is Justin Thacker from the body triangle and to find Thacker the rear naked choke. In, he can flatten out his opponent just like this. One-handed. That is deep. One-handed RNC. There he goes. He brings both arms good, together. Good job playing that top hand. Oh. But that looks tight. That was tight. Big squeeze. That's tight. He's striking to get out. He needs to fight the hands. Referee Nick Barron's taking a really close look. That is under the chin and tight. He's got to be careful he doesn't burn on his arms here. This is still the first round. We've still got two rounds left. Grosh doing a great job of, of finding the top hand. Great defense shown by Grosh. A mistake there made by Thacker. Whenever you lock in a choke, it's very traditional, the old Hoist Gracie style. You want to wrap the other hand behind the head. That's kind of been outdated a bit. Anytime you're under the chin, just grab whatever you can, pull your hips in, bring your chest in, and you can finish the choke that way. I do believe Thacker could have finished that choke had he not tried to reposition the bunch. But beautiful uh, display of defense for, for Grosh. We move to round two. Our fight replays are presented by Major Pack. Shouts out my home team, Major Pack. Look at this exciting round. Dagger getting slapped on his back. Looking like he still had the guillotine. Grosh coming out on top.
very back and forth first round, switching positions back and forth. Let's see if we see a little more striking from, from both these gentlemen. Referee Nick Barron starts round number two. Immediate forward pressure in the outside kick from Zach Grosh. Oh, big head kick! Oh, wow, by Grosh! Big front kick up the middle. Very Anderson Silva Vitor Belfort style. Picks the chin up of, of Thacker, but Thacker shards it off, finds himself here in the body lock. A little held forward. down by Grosh. Well done on the takedown from Thacker. Thacker, half butterfly, fighting through Zach Grosh. These guys got to find little spots to strike in on this on this ground and pound, you know. You, you get to a position, you know, you throw a pop, you know, instead of just trying to just hit these submissions, you know, you got to soften your opponent up. Gross fishing for the guillotine, fishing for the guillotine again is Zach Gross. You hear Trey Ogden in the corner of Justin Thacker imploring him to bring that left arm over his head. In a, in a no arm guillotine, that, that's the perfect defense, is applying that, that shoulder pressure to a no arm guillotine will force your opponent to let go. Right hands to the body. Grosh letting go of the guillotine attempt. Good positional awareness by Justin Thacker. Thacker now trying to step over and through. Back into the open half guard of Zach Grosh goes Justin Thacker. 145 remaining round two. Strikes right here would do Thacker very, much, very well. You know, he's got him pent up against the cage. Side mounted. Um, strikes right here could definitely do some damage. Taking the back there was Justin Thacker. One Good hook. turn right back from Zach Grosh. Uh -oh, Thacker looking for arm bar. Arm bar. The positional awareness, good defensive wow. awareness from Zach wow, Grosh. He's got it. No, good, good on, good on Grosh to, to the defense of that is kind of trying to get your elbow through the crotch. Did a good job. This is my type of fight. Back and forth we go on the submission attempts. Two really good grapplers on the left hand. Gross looking rear naked choke. That is in deep. The Big roll turn. through the hand fighting. A lot of squeeze under the chin. Peeling off the top. Oh, he taps. taps. There's the tap. And that is the win that. for Zach Gross. Wow. I did not expect him to tap. I thought he was going to turn and get out of that. Very impressive win for Both. Zach Gross. Both fighters most definitely had their moments attacking with their submission game. Both show great positional awareness offensively and defensively. Both show great defensive submission games. But Zach Gross, the tenacity, hitting the choke, hitting the finish, getting the win in his Emmy MMA, MMA debut. Vitor Belfort had a knockout like that. Anderson Silva actually knocked out Vitor Belfort like that. So very impressive for Thacker to keep coming forward. Here in the, in the fight ending sequence, we see Grosh lock up that, that choke. And like I mentioned earlier, you don't need that, that almost outdated, antiquated finish of a rear naked choke where you get the hand behind the head. He was able to finish it with just any grip. Thacker did a good job of peeling the top hand. Grosh did a good job of keeping that, that choke after he get the, the peel, end up getting the submission. Thacker was hand fighting, he was attacking that top hand. Grosh tenacious, as well as with squeeze, as well as with technique, celebrating with his head coach, an outstanding submission-based MMA fighter, Zach Bircha. Celebrating with the quick little flex. An impressive debut, I've been saying that all night, and I'll continue to say that if we keep seeing them. Uh, I think uh, Thacker has, you know, no, nothing lost there. He's gonna learn a lot. I, I think for him, he should learn how to keep these positions, you know? When you get these dominant positions, let's try to settle the guy before going for these submissions. And I think he'll find more success there. They'll both learn from this, but impressive debut. Our winner announcement is presented by Milagro Tequila. We go back to Brian Wood. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended at two minutes and nine seconds of the very second round. Your winner by tap out, due to rear naked choke, out of the blue corner, Zachary Grosh. Very impressive debut once again. Showed great grappling. I, I think he, that, that's his style, is that he's a grappler. I'm, I'm assuming he has some sort of wrestling experience. On the feet, looked a bit stiff, but took the fight to where he wanted, which was on the mat. Good submission win for Zach Rose. Very entertaining fight. 
quality on the ground from both men. The winner by way of second round submission, Zach Roche defeats Justin Thacker.